Well, welcome back to NRM 638, Python scripting for ArcGIS applications, spring semester 2015. This is an e-learning class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. In this session, we're going to create random lines. So what you need to do is go to the Blackboard website and download this text file, randomwalk.txt, and we'll be copying and pasting from that text file into the ArcPy window in ArcMap. Okay, so we'll import the Python random module, and then we'll create a personal geodatabase. I put it in cpemp, and I called it animalpaths.mdb. And I set my RPI environment workspace to that geodatabase, and I made a variable called myGeodatabase that contains that string. Next, we'll create a polyline feature class named path, and then we'll create a fictitious animal path line in this feature class. So we create an insert cursor where we have access to the line shape property. And then we'll basically create points and load those points into a polyline object and then assign that polyline object to the shape field. Okay, so what is in this line object? It's an array. So basically it's going from 0, 0, up to 0, 5, over to 5, 5, to x of 5, y of 10, and then finally to an x of 10 and a y of 5. And then we'll assign this line object to our shape field. So then we can unlock our table by deleting our cursor object. And then we'll look at this line in arc map. Okay, so here's the line which represents an animal movement path. And what we want to do is create what's called a random walk line. And the random walk line will start at the same location as our animal path. And it'll end at the same location as our animal path. But in between those two locations, the line will just randomly walk through the landscape. And if we look at the properties of our path, We've got an extent of 0 on the left, 10 on the right, 0 on the bottom, 10 on the top. So we'll constrain our random walk to be within that extent of 0 to 10 in the width and 0 to 10 in the height. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll get the properties of our animal path line using a search cursor and retrieving the shape field. And then from that shape field, we'll get several properties. We'll get the number of points in the line. We'll get the actual first point of the line. We'll get the last point of the line. And then we'll get the extent of the line. Okay, so what is, for example, the point count? So there's five points in the line. So we have those properties now that we can use when we create our random walk line. So we create a new polyline called ran path, and we create an insert cursor on ran path with access to the line shape field. And we make an ArcPy array object that will contain the vertices of our new line. And I just named it line vertices. You can name it whatever you want. And we take the original starting point from our animal line, and that will be the first point in this array. And then we use our original line extents x max and x min to determine the width of our extent. So in this case, it's 10, and what is the height of our extent? So north to south, and that's also 10. And then we'll create a ArcPy point object that will be the vertices of our new line. So next we loop through and we create a random x. And the random x is our width times a random number going from 0 to 1 minus the x maximum possible. So that in this example is 10. So for example, let's say random.random .random returns 0 0.5. So 10 times 0 0.5 would give you 5 and then 10 minus 5, so our random x would be an x-coordinate of 5. And then we create a random y, 
and then we assign that to the point X and the point Y property and then add that point to our container. So now what's in this container? So that's what's in our container. You'll notice we're starting with an X of zero and a Y of zero. And we want to end at the same location as our original animal path. So our last vertex in this container will assign to be the same point as our original animal path last point. So then we can use this container and create a polyline and then assign that polyline as our shape field for our new random walk line. And then we delete our cursor to unlock the table. And then we could look at our random walk line in ArcMap. So here's our original animal path line. And then we want our random walk line to start at the same location, randomly walk throughout the landscape, and then end at the same location. So then here's our random path line. And yours will be different because basically every time you choose random values, there'll be different x, y coordinates. So for the assignment this week, one of your optional assignments is to create 30 random paths for an animal path line. Okay, so if you go to the Blackboard website, I've got a quiz question for you that will lead you to the next video session.